Hey hamsters, did you know that there are over 2.4 million cryptocurrencies in circulation right now? Is it so easy to launch a cryptocurrency that so many people are doing it? Well, let's watch and find out what it's like to create your own cryptocurrency. Step 1. Comes down to purpose. Start by asking, what will your cryptocurrency do? Why are you creating a cryptocurrency? Why? 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 Will it be used for transferring money, storing your wealth, supporting smart contracts, verifying data, or managing smart assets? <coughs> Knowing your currency's purpose will guide its development and ensure it meets user needs. For example, Dogecoin was created as a fun meme coin and doesn't have the same functionality some of the other popular coins might like Ethereum, for instance. With this decision as your North Star, guiding force, or whatever you might call it, now it gets personal. Step 2. Is more help needed? To bring this dream to life, you'll need some technical skills, like programming distributed ledgers, using cryptographic techniques, developing process and procedures, applying game theory, and fixing coding mistakes. Sounds hmm. interesting or terrifying? In any case, you can learn to do it yourself. There are many courses available online to help you with it. Or you can source them out. Reddit forums like Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, FDEV, and Crypto Devs are great places to find and connect with developers. Oh, there are also platforms like Bitcoin Talk, which have been a hub for cryptocurrency discussions and projects collaborations for years. There are also blockchain as a service of bus companies that exist to help people create and maintain new blockchain networks and cryptocurrencies. So you have options. Step 3. Select a blockchain platform. You know your why and your who. Now it's time to answer your how. And more specifically, which blockchain your cryptocurrency will run on. Different blockchains offer various consensus mechanisms to verify transactions, such as proof of work, the OG, where miners solve puzzles to create blocks. Proof of stake, miners are chosen based on their stake in the currency. Delegated proof of stake, users vote for miners to create blocks. Proof of elapsed time. The reward goes to the miner who has waited the longest. Again, there are pros and cons to each of these, but diving into these might be a whole episode on its own. <laughs> all right. Now let's switch gears a bit and look at the logistics of it all. Step 4. Prepare the nodes. Nodes are the computers that process and verify transactions on your blockchain. Uh -huh, uh. Essentially what keeps your cryptocurrency running. As you do this setup, the questions you will want to ask. Access. Who can use the nodes? Hosting. Cloud or local? Operating system. What operating system are ideal for running a cryptocurrency node? Open source systems like Ubuntu or Fedora are ideal. Hardware. What hardware specifications are crucial for running a cryptocurrency node? Fast processors, ample RAM, and sufficient storage are crucial. Next up. Step 5. Choose a blockchain architecture. Decide how your blockchain will share data. Will it be centralized? One node handles all data. Or decentralized? Nodes share data among themselves. Are there options? Hmm. Distributed. Data moves between nodes, either publicly or privately. As you answer, the things you will want to keep in mind, transaction limits, block sizes, and mining rewards. Step 6. Establish APIs. APIs, or for the less technical people, application programming interfaces, connect your blockchain to other applications. facilitating tasks like trading, data security, and currency analysis. Solutions like Bitcore, Factum, and Infura Ethereum APS can help. You might need external developers to set this up if this makes no sense to you. Step 7. Create a user-friendly interface. Now it comes down to your users. As you launch your new project, consider that complexity might scare some of your up-and-coming community away. This means some investment into creating a user-friendly interface and experience are vital. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. 
This interface needs a server and database and should be easy for users to navigate, manage their investments and configure settings. Think simple and then make it simpler. Step 8. Consider the legal. Oh, don't skip the legal stuff. Ah. As you get ready to launch, there are a few final items of business to attend to including setting up a legal entity like an LLC or corporation, acquiring necessary licenses from your local government, registering with regulatory bodies to prevent money laundering, and double check everything to ensure the jurisdiction you are planning to launch or operate in allow cryptocurrency at all. Okay. All of this takes a lot of time and work, and we haven't even touched on what it takes to list a cryptocurrency on different exchanges. Let us know if you want to know more in the comments. Oh, uh, just curious, if you had a cryptocurrency, what would you call it, huh? Hmm. Thanks for watching, subscribe and remember, hamsters are power, one for all and all for one. Bye!